few people have been saying that they've followed the tutorial to the T. Some have even cloned the repo and they're getting a JWT malformed error. So I'm going to replicate the error and I'm going to show you how I debugged the error. And then I'm going to show you how you can fix it. So if we click create session, you can see here we get an access token. And if we have a look in this test, you can see that we're getting the response body and then we're setting an environment variable called access token with the response body access token. And you can see that access token here. So we would expect this access token to be set in our environment variables. So if we click on get sessions, we get this unexpected 403 error here. So if we go over to our console, you can see we get a JWT malformed error. So if we inspect this error a little bit more, you can see that it's coming from the JSON web token package and it's coming from the verify function. So let's go to our usage of this function. And this is in JWT utils and at JWT.verify. And so it's telling us that the token being passed into this verify function is malformed. So let's log this token out so we can see what it looks like. Send this request again. And you can see here that the token is access token will be set when you create a session. And this is obviously not a valid JSON web token. Therefore, this JWT malformed error is what we would expect. So the reason that we're getting this error is because in Postman, we don't have an environment set. So in our test script, it's trying to set an environment variable, but it's going to set an environment variable in an environment that doesn't exist. So I should have specified this in the tutorial, so my apologies for that. We come up to the environment and select an environment. Now we can create a session. Now you can get your sessions and you get a 200 OK. And if we have a look at the token, this is exactly what we would expect. So that is how to fix the JWT malformed error. And make sure you've joined the Discord. You'll find the invite link in the description below. And it's thanks to the members of the Discord that we found and fixed this error.